Okay, next we have uh, The Bear Hunt, a literary game the novel, The Good Guys, book number seven, written by Eric Ugland. Um, this is 365 pages. It is $4.90. It is available on Can Limited. Here's the author's description. As usual, Montana conch shell is hell-bent on doing what's right, even if it's what's what's right isn't exactly what's wise. So he embarks on a quest to vanquish the corrupted Ursus, a threat so large they could destroy the entire world of incarnates. Uh, does Montana head out after months of training for cold weather conditions, amassing an army, and strategize to with his top aides? Not really. It's more like he just walks out of his hold one day to, with a guide and, in, and members of his herd. They're just a bunch of angry teddy bears, right? Montana is acting on pure instinct, tinged with a healthy dose of rage. He is stripped bare, as soon finds himself without food, supplies, a key magic weapon, or even his most loyal friends. Still, he continues, Montana Cockshell is on the hunt. So there we go. Um, I guess that's fairly, a fairly accurate description. Um, there's really no planning for this. Uh, this the story feels real as last of life. Like they're like the main character literally goes out on this hunt for these for these bears, like probably three, I think four times, and he returns <laughs> with uh, with different issues. Um, it's a good entry in the series. It's not my favorite, um, and I'll definitely point out the fact that they're the story kind of meanders um, in the beginning and middle of the novel. There's definitely a solid ending here, which resolves um, the plot like mentioned in the novel description. But um, a lot of this beginning middle section kind of feel like it's a setup for, for future novels or, or um, requirements for some game mechanics for the town building stuff. Um, there's still good action adventure here through the entire novel. Um, there's a little bit more RPG regression that you've seen in some other books. And the ending again is satisfying and good. However, again, like this beginning and middle sections really just feel like what's happening. You're, you have a goal, but you're not really going there. Um, and, and it definitely kind of, kind of goes on its own slice of life path. And even in the back of the novel description or the novel book, in the back matter, the author's like, man, this was hard to get back into. I was writing the, that bad guy's book. And it was really just kind of a challenge to get back into this mindset of this particular character because it's such a different kind of storytelling. And I absolutely get that. Um, but it is what it is. It's still enjoyable story. Just not going to be favorite in the series. Um, it's gets a score of 7.4 out of five, uh, 7.4 out of 10 turn rather. Um, which is a good solid middle, uh, play less than middle of the road kind of good story. If you're a fan of the series, you're going to enjoy this. You are good characters, good main characters. So doing good action stuff, you get a little more RPG action that it can, um, I was glad to see more RPGs of her. Um, but again, it's, it's, it, it, it's very much kind of a slice of life. I think there are other reviewers who said like, Oh, this kind of feels like filler. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I kind of see that. Like there's no like big, huge arc progressions here. Um, but again, it does kind of feel like a little bit like a setup and that some things that happened, uh, in the story are, 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 are meant to be for like, oh, these are, these are beginning of plot lines. They're going to pay out in other points in this series, hopefully. Um, so for me again, 7.4 out of 10, the bear hunt, good guys, novels, book number 10. I'm a fan. This is an easy review, uh, with the score of 7.4 out of 10.